in the bottom right playing as the gold koji we have martin aka space front up against mastro up in the top left and for those watching the youtube vods mastro is joining me on commentary so we're going to get a little bit of insight from mastro while this goes on hey um so no openings we're both going for with first road racing the whatever village the fortified village um He's going from the front and I'm going from the back. That's pretty minor. The point is, I think front is slightly better, maybe. But anyway, the point is you're racing the, the fortified with first sword. Now with second sword, I'm going for a, for a lumber mill going, if you can see it there. Oh, yeah. And, and space front isn't. Okay. Nice use of the barge, though, it's going to force you to be in a position where you're going to get punished for that. I don't yeah. know if sword crit kills. I don't think it does. And he also doesn't want to let me keep the, keep the, the lumber mill. Yeah. Right. Because then I cut stuff. Okay, so, yeah, just regular commander here. Actually, this is probably the much better way of doing this. Yep. Deal some damage to your sword. Takes you know a little bit of chip damage on the commander, but that's not the end of the world. And sword, I imagine, is just going to retreat from this point. Going to have to. Likely, it's next to the bards, so probably going to take the bards out if I remember correctly. It's been a while since this thing. Yeah. And yeah, commander just goes for a capture from the opponent's sword. Oh, actually, sword just runs back and heals. Okay. Oh, I forgot it did that. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's a pretty valid option, too. The sword isn't going to die anytime soon. I guess, yeah. yeah Space Front will want to recapture their lumber mill. And, ooh, nice heal, actually, on the commander. Yeah. But okay. the bright side is that he's, like, far away from my double villains, my fortified. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah, you don't have to invest in a warship to defend. Uh, yeah, it's, but it's, the central it's... position is, like, pretty threatening for Sio, anyway. Okay, now, now it retreats Full seal. Don't want to mess with that. Yeah. Both naval fronts kind of progressing slowly. I guess this is before people started really building archers to defend naval. Uh, that's more of a Sequoia play than anything. But I think we both build archers like later. You don't want to do it very fast because you need other units first, like dragons. We both really like early dragon on this map. You see, we both did it here. And uh, Space Front really likes Dragon Rust in general. Tends to be pretty good in World Group 2. So, you know, that's why they nerfed the Dragon, because it's really good. Yes. Yeah, Dragon got a pretty huge nerf, actually, in World Group 2, and it's still good. Ooh, nice surround, though. Ah, there's the Bard, so it's not the real surround. But... Yeah, but you can chip the Bard for a little bit. and At least Koji doesn't get to hit something. That was the point of the surround. N needs to go back with the pirates. Yeah, and actually, twins are pretty threatening as well. Yeah, Koji needs to retreat to a very safe position. I can't really posture aggressively. Being... So, here I dropped uh, uh, a river boat to the dragon. I did this semi on purpose. I wanted. We, we both got dragons at the same turn, and I wanted mine to reach the center faster because I thought that would open tactical windows. It didn't end up mattering as much as I thought it would, so I just went down on Riverboat for little compensation. Well, okay. I did get the Villas decap, so I got some groove. Yeah, lower mill decap is quite nice. A little bit of damage, I guess, picking off a sword. You are going to lose some swords of your own for that, but Barge is going to come in, Commander moves So across. I defended, yeah, so I brought stuff to defend that play. And I thought my dragon couldn't get trapped. I saw the units being there to trap it, but I thought that with twins' uh, groove, I wouldn't be able to. I would be able to uh, uh, pull it out of the trap. Oh, okay. Ooh, that's you can see there is a maze there to kill that uh, bomb. Yeah. And then there is a sword to hit that sword, and also twins' fire to also hit that sword. And I thought, like, surely. Sword on beats plus twins uh, fire, you know, it should surely die to another sword, right? Yeah. It survives 4%. Well, we're gonna get to see that, so... 
Um, I I think I don't go for the hit because I saw that it does. Oh okay. But it's like sword on sword is sixty, and on bits that's sixty six, and I have like wits plus twins fire, so that's thirty. So that's ninety six damage on the sword. So I go for a different turn. I can't finish the sword off. Maybe I hit it anyway, or do I go for the wagon? No, I go for the wagon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cooling flame. Ooh, that's some good damage and healing. Yeah, so I thought since I can't escape with my dragon, I'll just try to go in and deal as much as damage as possible. Yeah, and this actually punishes anything that tries to kill the dragon too, so... Yeah, it's, it's actually a pretty nice turn. I and mean... also here I made the critical blunder in like building a dragon where you're gonna see how my dragon is getting hit. Yep, I forgot that thing. Oh, yeah, that's rough. That was a really bad play. Yeah. And I just didn't notice. I was thinking about the central fight. And Spacefront finds this exact sequence of moves. Look at this tactical break here. Oh, Everything yeah, sets gets up healed. the sword crit. Double sword crit, in fact, actually. Oh, but hits with the dog. But... Yeah, sword crit not gonna be necessary. And here's the hit to finish my heart, uh, my witch with uh, maids. Because I thought that witch couldn't die. But I forgot about that one bomb there. And this is actually tactically devastating. I'm lost now. <laughs> yeah, that's a ton of damage. So I thought it was a good turn from you. Like, it's something... Obviously, I mean, obviously your dragon getting hit is probably less tactically brilliant, but... Yeah, yeah, I thought so too, but I moved... Uh, I, I don't want to say I moved fast, because I took quite a bit of time for that turn. But I still like did it sloppily, I didn't carefully calculate it. I didn't check what he could do to me after it. Right. I was like, oh, this looks like a decent move. At that time, I didn't know that Spacefront, you know, uh, actually super calculates this in tryhards. And I got destroyed. <laughs> Yeah, and you can see now I can't attack that much. My arm is in shambles. I can't, I can't do much of anything here. Yeah, well, you did pretty good damage to space front there, but there just isn't quite enough from you to threaten. So like space front can just keep pushing. And I love that there's one three three seven gold left. Ooh, One of the funny, funny meme numbers. Yep. Late. Okay. We got more damage coming in. The witch? Probably go for second hex, yep. And that's a lot of chip damage coming in. Yeah. And but the point here is like I only have one mage, right? And it's at six health. Oh. So yeah. he he can go super ham with his witches. And that's I guess a side effect of Koji bombs. Which I, I needed to suck a mage for the bombs and another mage I suck to hit his dragon and it's like has bombs again now and I'm running out of mages and I also need to build other units because they all died so I get overwhelmed my land builds get overwhelmed here I calculate that exact kill to clear the night I don't remember why I think I had something different in mind first yeah your tower is shot down as well which is Probably not super relevant right now, but it is very annoying to feel like you just don't have the options available. Yeah, and here he can do anything. He can clear most of my army. He can go for... He can start preparing for an HQ attack. He's clearly ahead. But what I didn't think he could do is what ended up happening. Oh, oh, we're going to see some very big cross-map shenanigans with lethal. It's double hex coming in. Another mage shield? Oh, air trooper? Are you gonna do something? Trooper takes the knight out. Oof. Those are just regular tier one sparrow, sparrow bombs, but let's see. Barge goes down. Oh, this is a beautiful sequence. Okay, that was actually incredible. Yeah, that was a crazy lethal. I didn't even consider that there was a chance I could die here. Wow. Yeah, that was that was definitely a space from Koji Lethal. I'll say that much. That was truly uh, one of the Koji Lethals of all time. Yeah, yeah, it was. That was that I mean, was so cool. 
All right, well. It was really cool to look at, but it didn't matter in the grand scheme of things. I was already super lost. The critical turn was, you know, when he broke my tier 2 groove and I lost like two dragons and a witch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if that dragon hadn't gone... I, I guess you would have had to build something else, but like, maybe you put like a rifle instead of the dragon or something, but... Oh, I don't know. It's it's hard uh, to say. Still, the, uh, the amount of units, like both value-wise and count-wise, that got crashed in the middle was like, it was too much. I got crashed tactically in the middle and the game was over. Yeah. Uh, the the funny critical blunder on the left with the harpoon hitting the dragon. I mean, it's huge, but it also, like, like the lethal. It didn't matter that much because the most critical was the central army fight. And losing that m meant I lost the game unless something really funny happened. Well... We'll play there to the space front, they take game, and they go undefeated in this test metal. Uh, so we'll see how they do in the future, but for now we're going to go to the next game.